speaking about those high performers we've seen so far, though, I think some have exploded up onto the stage. And I have to say, one that surprised me out of those three you mentioned of the Fusion, the New York, is, is the Eternal. The yeah. Eternal, I mentioned the first, I, I wasn't expecting Eternal to be this good. I wasn't expecting them to have this synergy so early, but I've heard someone, someone describe it as like the crusty coaching tree because 9K used yes. to be under shock with Krusty. Yeah, he and then was rushed a coach with for the NRG. Exactly. Yes, yes, he was. And, and now we're seeing that sort of success with the new players they've had. I wasn't expect I wasn't expecting to ever in a universe say, yo, Ben Best is looking pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's looking pretty good both on camera and in the game. Yeah, that's he's true. Good looking man, that one. And then they also have the rookie XZ coming out, which has, he's a- Monstrous. Monstrous, absolutely monstrous. So you've had the Element Mystic squad in Korean contenders, mm -hmm. absolutely cleaning house for a long while there. And you're seeing that a lot of those players coming through through and actually putting up really stellar performances in their respective Overwatch League teams. It's kind of like Runaway last year. This year, it seems that Element Mystic was the big boy squad that kind of sent their superstars all across the league. And Paris, for me, is one of the teams that has gone under the radar, but I really was not expecting them to be coming and be such a hot team at the start of this season. The hype is real, the heap as uh, the, the, you know, the flex of the heap <laughs> is real. They, uh, they're they doing great, uh, fantastic even, and I think there's, there's you know, people saying that we sort of underrated the Element Mystic as someone that cast them for Korean contenders last year. I sort of underrated their rest of the squad that wasn't Sparkle or Doha. <laughs> yeah, right. and, and most people did. Yeah, most, most people, people did. did. And then we come in and we're like, man, Hanbin's pretty good. Like, I, this guy is pretty great. I like Hanbin. Like, that's a good player. And you see, like, just this, uh, an Exe, who is a player that played mostly hit scan uh, mm -hmm. at times, but we used to be a flexible player and now is playing for Eternal and he's just been fantastic. So I think for Eternal, this they really exploded out onto the scene. They had a rough, you know, season two, their initial inaugural season, and they've been great this year. So I think they've just been just improving and looking better and better yeah. after that initial loss. Now, the interesting thing about Paris to me is that the really the only blemish on their record, and we'll talk about more about the Defiant later, but they did have a loss yes. to the Defiant. And then the Defiant themselves will look really good. Uh, in a game five against the Philadelphia Fusion, mm -hmm. which is another team that's been looking stellar. But I don't know, you know, looking at where the things are now, it might be interesting to look back at those games and see like what happened in the Toronto Defiant to get matched. Because Paris has looked really, really good in all of their records, both on paper and in game, except for that one Defiant match. And we'll talk about Defiant later because they're 